Jones. No way he'll come back after an injury like that one. Sanderlands has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Clean tap out of the ruck. The ball mopped up. Rockcliffe is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. A good hit out there. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Rydek with the punch. Bill Gabbins. Get some power behind that one. Valentine grabs that one. The wind helping that kick. And the mark will be paid. Opportunity for McCarthy. The chance right here to overtake what's been a powerful opposition. Fremantle take back the lead. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Rydek looked about as coordinated as Disney's goofy. We'll get a ball up. Pierce gets a fist to it. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Pierce taps. Cleary collects. And now we'll have a ball up. Ryder gets onto the ball. Broadbent made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Ryder thumps it forward. Fife gets it out of the crowd. Broadbent gets the upper hand. A difficult kick into this breeze. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Great gets the ball. Slams it on the boot. Westhoff with the mark. 45 meters out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. 30 metres from home. Wingard with a pretty easy kick. Let's see if they can go on with us from now. It's a game of fluctuating fortunes as Port Adelaide take back the lead. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Pierce outstretches his opponent to win the right. Kirsten has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Ball up in the centre square. Hit by Ryder. Gray controls. The loose ball picked up by Rockcliffe. Spurt has so much potential, he could just be anything. Ryder has super fast reaction time, he could catch an arrow. Mundy with the kick, slips through his fingers. Broadbent gets the loose ball. Kirsten hand passes the ball. Ballantyne going for home. Picked up the ball, out of bounds it goes. The umpire's throw is a good one. Big thump from Pierce. He runs into the goal. Chalk up a goal for the Dockers. The Dockers get back in the lead again. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. Pierce gets the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. 40 metres out. Kirsten with quite a challenge in front of him. Nice goal from Kirsten. Fremantle by eight points. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. The power midfielders are well and truly on top in this match. They're winning everything at the stoppages. You have to wonder what the rest of their team are doing. This midfield can't keep carrying the team all game. Ball up in the centre square. Rydek directs it down. Pick up by Bebert. Pierce may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Port Adelaide midfielders are well and truly on top in this match. They're winning everything at the stoppages. You have to wonder what the rest of their team are doing. This midfield can't keep carrying the team all game. Westhoff mops up the ball. He kicks the ball. Knee lines up. Going for goal number one. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. But Adelaide can catch up from here. They're less than two goals down. Hamling waiting to bring it back into play. He kicks it to himself. Hamling kicks hard along the boundary line. Hill marks it. A cool, calm head, clearing it out of defense. A clean pickup. He picked it up off the ground. Off the ground. 
The ball is smothered. Scoops up the ball. He's racking up possessions. Intercept by Fife. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Well, when you look at the tackle count, it's clear why Port Adelaide have so many. They've been chasing Fremantle all game. Ryder. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Dixon. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Walters takes it out on the full. He slams that on the boot. Polek with good strong hands. He puts power behind that kick. He scoops the ball off the ground. Johnson manages to get the handball out of the pack. Quick kick out of the pack by five. Kirsten just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Choose to kick it. Strong mark by Matera. He kicks it. Misses the goal and goes through for a behind. Fremantle by eight points. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but the power need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Sending it on its way. It's through for a point. The Dockers out in front over Port Adelaide. Looks like he'll go out wide. Jonas kicking the ball to himself. A lovely drop punt. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. A difficult kick into this breeze. And the ball goes out of bounds. The throw is accurate. Dixon taps it. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Good tap from Dixon. Great sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Gets boot to leather. Westhoff wins the marking contest. Gets the ball on the boot. What a mark! That's a goal! Great with his first. This game is getting more exciting by the second. As we go into the break, the scores are the Dockers 22, the Power 19. Port Adelaide need to break the scoring momentum that we're seeing. They need to rotate their flexible personnel and alter the trend of the game. Richo, what do the stats tell us? In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Dockers are slightly ahead with 23 to 19. Much appreciated, Richo. And we're back at it. Winners don't wait for chances, they take them. Rydek decisively, controlled by Johnson. Sends the Sharon on its way. Pal Pepper has it. 35 metres out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. But Adelaide is down by less than a kick. Hamling waiting for the man to free up. He decides to play on. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Ebert gets the ball. Shoots off the handball. Boots it. Rockliffe claims the ball. Boots it. Takes that one strongly. Knee has so much potential, he could just be anything. Lining it up with the goal now. Sending it on its way. Good mark. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Hoping to change the lead with this kick. The goal for Port Adelaide. The power have scored the last two goals. The power are in the lead. The bounce laser straight. Tapped by Sandilands. He controls the bouncing ball. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. Cleared by Sandilands. Cleary gathers it. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Clean tap by Sandilands. Cleary there to mop it up. Collected by Pinner. Mundy kicks it from the pack. Strong man. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Trying to get some momentum with this kick. That's a very well executed goal. The second goal for McCarthy. The Dockers goes back into the lead. McCarthy is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. He's got the footy in his hands. Rockliffe is streaming past and gets the footy. A nice running mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. An important kick for the lead. He's missed. 
Is that a brave attempt or a stupid attempt, Richard? He needs to think more about it when in front of goals. He's searching for his teammates. Good mark by Ryan. Anything that goes that far needs a stewardess. Boat with the mark. Trims the grass with that one. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Hill can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He lines it up with the goal. The ball goes out on the full. Blakely sends one up towards the wing. Five marks. Puts boot to ball. Marks. Lovely drop pass. Wines spills it. He picks it up. He just can't get out of the action. Dishes it off to the running player. Ryder got under it. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Chips it down towards half forward. Wingard getting into position for the kick. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He's put it out on the full. Kicked by Spur. Johnson drops it. The umpire wants to ball it up. Rydick really gets onto this one. Wingard picks up the loose ball. Gets a handball away. Sandlin slams it on the boot. Neil is incredibly competitive and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. Puts boot to ball. And the ball goes over the boundary line. We'll get a ball in. One down by Sandilands. Boat controls it. Is in his possession. Rydek with another possession. Rockliffe kicks it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. The opposition forgot about him and he takes the easy mark. Nice mark there. Ebert may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Fife gains the loose ball. Holding the ball is the call. Ebert slams the ball to his boot. And the ball goes out of bounds. We'll get a throw in. Good tap from Sandilands. Rydek with the ball. Approaching the goals now. The ball mopped up. Westhoff is starting to get a lot of the football. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 25 metres out. This should prove an easy angle for Carl Pepper. Pinpoint accuracy from Carl Pepper. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Carl Pepper's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Ryder punches it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Gathered by Boke, he seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Sandlin's with the tap. Cleary controls. Goes short with a hand pass. Rydek feeds it wide. Marked by Fife. A lovely drop pass. Marks. Clurry takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Has the mark all to himself. Mundy kicks the ball. Walters with a strong mark. He boots it. No one around troubling him there. Opportunity for McCarthy. 35 metres out. Trying to get some momentum with this kick. Fantastic goal by McCarthy. The dock is back in front. This match is swinging back and forth like a metronome. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Cleary onto the ball. He gets the hand pass. Takes that one strongly. Craig slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Questoff. This will certainly test him from this distance. A goal now will tip the scales in favour of the power. The scoreboard is level. Hamling has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Lining it up with the goal now. Wingard goes for goal. It's through for a point. Port Adelaide have the advantage on the scoreboard over the Dockers. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Neil sends one up towards the wing. Hands like dinner plates. Boots it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Kirsten boots it. A nice uncontested mark for Ballantyne. 40 metres out. 
Valentine hammers the ball for goal. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. We're all tied up now. Jonas has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Valentine getting into position for the kick. Valentine takes a shot, a goal took the Dockers. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Sandlin's with the tap, controlled by Kirsten. Grabs the footy. Ball up in the centre square. Ryder gets onto the ball. Kirsten, I've got no idea how he managed to get that out. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. The dock is by seven points. Looks like he'll go out wide. Jonas plays on. Getting a helping hand from the wind with that kick. Burn Jones really wears his heart on his sleeve. Puts boot to ball. Gray with handball. Ryder putting his head down as he runs in. 45 metres out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. From the movie of the same name, a beautiful behind by me. Two goals would change the lead in favour of Port Adelaide. He looks for a man on the lead. Takes that one strongly. Kicks into the wind. Marks. Looks like he panicked there. Takes it well. Blakely sends one up towards the wing. Nice hands. Both really wears his heart on his sleeve. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice strong mark. Sending it on its way. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. He marks the ball. Polek boots it. It's a mark. Kicks. A great effort. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Nice mark there. Johnson sends the ball on its way. Mundy grabs that one. He pumped that one. Walters with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Takes it well. Good out with a low spearing kick. A great effort. Hartlett got a really good footballing brain. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Knocks it down in front. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Five puts it on the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Walters. Is it? Is it? Great hands. He kicks it. McCarthy. Goal number four and I'm sensing there'll be another. And maybe even more given the opportunities he's getting. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is dead straight. Fremantle leading by 12 after the second quarter. Port Adelaide need to have a look at themselves during the break. They are struggling in all departments and really need someone to step up and spark them into action in this second half. Richo has some stats for us now. The power in Fremantle are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with the Dockers on 36 and Port Adelaide on 33. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. Well, that's half a game. Don't go anywhere. Quarter number three is coming up right after this.
just the siren to start the second half. They've come out from the long break and hopefully they have agreed upon the price they must pay for success. Doing this enables teams to ignore the minor hurts, the opposition pressure and the temporary failures. The up has had enough, it's a ball up. Sandlin's punches it. A favourable bounce. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Picked by Gray. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Five. Doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. Kirsten boots it. Jonas gets a favourable bounce. He heads into home. McCarthy with the shot. It's the Dockers with the lead over the power. Jonas has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Boots it. Burn Jones takes an uncontested mark. Boots it. Wines alone for the uncontested mark. Sends it on its way. Broadbent slams it on the boot. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Marked by Thebert. Choose to kick it. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Broadbent has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Rockcliffe, just the better man in that contest. He boots it. Ryder with a strong mark. Jams it on the boot now. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Blakely slams it on the boot. Takes it well. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. Sandlin's feeds it wide. Nice hands. Kirsten with the kick. A mark by Burn Jones. Burn Jones has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He slams that on the boot. Great hands. McCarthy has a kick. Ah, oh, the kick is no good. Fremantle by 14. Jonas to bring it in. My ball, says the umpire. Clean tap by Ryder. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Dances around the boundary line. Neil drives the ball towards goal. That's three in a row for the docket. The dock is by 20 points. The Rocks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball bouncing well. Clean tap by Ryder. Controlled by Hill. Sandlins gains possession. A lot of possessions for him. Ryder really gets onto this one. A clean pickup. Kicked by Westhoff. Marked by Gray. Hastily kicked. Goes by hand. Approaching the goals now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 25 metres out. The goal's right in front of Wingard. Slots it. The power will be worrying now. Wingard obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Sandlin wasn't even close to that tap and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Ryder aims for his man on the ground. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away. Handballs from the tackle. Going for goal number one. Gray did well then. The Dockers bank 20 points. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is dead straight. Palms it down nicely. Hill controls. Takes possession. Wines doesn't waste that opportunity. Wines can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. While well, Port Adelaide have been dominant in the ruck, they haven't been able to give their receivers first use of the ball, and that's why they're losing this match. Gray kicks the ball. Ryder, just the better man in that contest. Ryder drives the ball towards goal. Need swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Hughes with the ball. Certainly that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. Great with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Need hooked it like a fluffed forward. The power are in some real trouble here. Hamlin looking for a lead. 
Ryan takes the mark. Ryan is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Sandlin's with first hands to the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. He collects the loose ball. The kick is held up in the wind. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 50 metres out. Boots it. Johnson looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Neil chucks the ball away. Neil can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Gray gets the loose ball. Boak has the ball. Boak goes for goal. He could not have kicked that any better. Port Adelaide are trailing Fremantle. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Sandlins, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. We'll have another ball up. Rydek with first hands to the ball. Johnson beats the hand pass out. The umpire will ball it up. Rydek is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Sandlins. Kirsten is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. This 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for McCarthy. Almost, but not quite. The dock is bite 14. He has a few options. Pittard has it. Gets boot to leather. Walters with the mark. Boots it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. McCarthy lets fly with a shot at goal. The dock is by 15 points. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but Port Adelaide need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Matera has a kick. He's looking for options now. Jonas kicks to himself. Low spearing kick. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Booted by Pitta. Strong mark choose to kick it. Bill ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. A nice uncontested mark for Walters. Sends the Sharon on its way. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. 50 metres out. Out on the full. Free kick to Kapow. Choose to kick it. A solid mark from Hartlett. Hartlett. He's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. Westhoff, with good strong hands, he lines it up with the goal. Puts boot to ball. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. 45 metres out. You're back in from this position. It's been intercepted by the opposition. The ball is slammed towards goal by Grider. The scoreboard starting to worry the power now. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Pollock will have to put everything into this one. Rydek was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. 50 metres from home. Well, if you could hand-pick a position, this is it, straight in front of the goals. Dixon takes the mark. You know what they say, this is the impossible angle. Going for goal number one. Richo, help me out here. What was he thinking? Your guess is as good as mine. The Dockers have been taking the time to size up the right option at the right time, so they haven't been hurt on the turnover. And that's why they're on track to win this match. It takes a strong mark. Neil boots it. We get a ball up on the wing. Punched by Ryder. Five on the ball at the moment. Walters onto the ball. Works it across the ground. The opposition forgot about him and he takes the easy mark. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Valentine misses very wide. But they narrowed the goalposts at one end. That ball is just not hitting the target for the Dockers. Jonas is a great kick and if he can maintain that accuracy under pressure, he'll elevate to the elite category. Pittard with good strong hands. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Mundy with the kick. Broadbent with the mark. He slams that on the boot. He takes the contested mark. 
Ebert kicks out along the boundary line. Picture perfect drop punt. Wines, the better man there, puts boot to ball. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. The contest, no match for him. Rydek lining up. Kicks it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him 40 meters out. And that's the game. The dock is 66 to the power 51. What? Oh, they're telling me that's only the end of the third quarter. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Thanks for that, Richo.
It's almost over now. You and your opponent want the same thing. The only thing that matters is who works the hardest for it. Rockliffe slams it on the boot. Wingard lines it up. Chips it down towards half forward. Great mark. Ryan slams it on the boot. Booted by Johnson. Wines with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Nice mark under pressure. Gray is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Westhoff with the kick. Strong mark there. Ryan kicks it. Johnson gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. He gets up. Terrific courage. Five kicks. Nice mark there. Westhoff slams it on the boot. That kick was asking a bit much of Hamlin. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. The power trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. Dixon is pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. Sends the Sharon on its way. Gray has so much potential. He could just be anything. Wingard collects it. Head down. Going for goal. Wingard with the shot. Going for goal number two. The power have scored the last two goals. Still enough time to turn this around. Sandlin's punches. Five comes away with the ball. A nice running mark. Pittard with a perfect drop punt. Boak claims it. Kicks. Gray got under it. Choose to kick it. A great effort. Boak is incredibly competitive and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. A nice contested mark. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. He slams that on the boot. Ryan takes the uncontested mark. Kicks. Westhoff marks. Jams it on the boot. Rydek wins the marking contest. 50 metres out. Rydek slams one on the boot for goal. Rydek executes the goal well. Port Adelaide get back on top again. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Ryder can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Lining it up with the goal now. Wingard boots it. That's a nice strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. A nice contested mark. Mundy is getting the ball again and again. Intercepted. Boots it. Advantage. Good mark on the run. Westhoff taking aim. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Need takes a shot. Dixon needed more altitude. I think it was touched. Just a few points the difference. Looks like he's going to go long. Hamling decides to play on. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thumb. Good mark by Neil. Neil sends one up towards the wing. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Mundy got a really good football in Brian. Kirsten with the ball. He boots it. And the ball is out of play. He gets a fist to it. Ryder by hand. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. Kirsten will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Strong mark. Good drop punt by Broadbent. Ebert drops it. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Marked by Gray. Gray is a Rolls Royce of a player who has the ability to read the play like no other. Gray with the mark. Sending it on its way. That's a mark. He steadies now in front of goal. He kicks it long. Flurry with the mark. Kicks. Pollock marks it. Kicks. Rockliffe with the mark. The wind carries the kick. Spurk with the mark. Spurk is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. By with the kick. He takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. He gets it under pressure. Hill with the kick. He takes the contested mark. 
Jams it on the boot now. Cleary got under it. Choose to kick it. Strong mark. Sandlin sends the ball on its way. Lucky bounce collected. Could be a game-changing kick from McCarthy. Fremantle goes back into the lead. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Sandilands's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He kicks the ball, Wingard with the mark. Wingard takes a shot. He has a few options. He decides to play on. Puts boot to ball. Ebert takes it well. 50 metres from home. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. 25 metres out. Westhoff lets fly with a shot at goal. The scores are all tied up. We've got deadlock. Hamling will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Ryan is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Ebert sharks the ball away. He gets boot to the ball. Westhoff getting into position for the kick. Westhoff thumps the ball for goal. Give him a wrap and they'll let you down every time. You're right, Dennis. That is a letdown. The goal eluding them each time. He's looking for options now. That kick was asking a bit much of Ryan. He has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Batted down nicely by Ryder. Gets a handball away. Neil kicks it out of congestion. A great effort. The kick is held up in the wind. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rue that one. Right now, he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. The ball has been thrown in. Ryder punches. Takes possession. The ball in the hands of Sandilands. Five with a short hand pass. Johnson really wears his heart on his sleeve. It gets tapped. He grabs the ball. It's a ball up. Rydek not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. And the mark will be paid. He takes the shot. I need to bleep myself. Did you see that? Good Adelaide by seven points. Wingard is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Sandlin's nicely outclassing Ryder. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Sandlin's hits it. He controls the bouncing ball. And we have a ball up. Sandlin's without a touch. The clearance by Ryder. Cleary puts it on the boot. He wins the contest. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Neil, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. Fife slams the ball to his boot. He gets boot to the ball. Boak slams the ball to his boot. Blakely with great hands. He slams that on the boot. He gets the upper hand. Oh, that's a nice long kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Choose to kick it. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Puts boot to ball. He drops the mark. Boak slams the ball to his boot. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Boots it. Great hands. Winger. That's got to hurt. It just missed. Wood Adelaide having trouble with their misses. Wood Adelaide by eight points. He has a few options. Wood Adelaide are victorious. Richard to wrap up the match. A very good performance. A few standout players helped them over the line in the end.
The final score of this match is Port Adelaide 80, Fremantle 72. That's all.